How you guys doing out there? This is James once again. This is Have the Conversation. This is the second video I've done today. And this time I want to talk a little bit about artificial intelligence. Hey Siri. Hey Google. Hey Alexa. That type of stuff. And the thing I want to talk about is how it's making us lazier as a world. Think about it. A lot of people have Alexa, Google, and Siri and all these artificial intelligence things and they're we're using them to do things that we used to lift our hands to do ourselves. I was just watching 911, uh, the TV show, and part of the episode was about, I think it was Hildy, an artificial intelligence thing that uh, in the beginning of the episode, the, the guy used to turn the shower on, he used it to regulate the temperature, he used it to make coffee, he used it to turn on the stereo and the whole thing. What is wrong with using your hands to do any of that right now? We are focusing and we are relying too much on artificial intelligence to basically control the things that we do. Hey Siri, open up the door. Hey Siri, play this. Hey Siri, make me a cup of coffee. Hey Siri, change my playlist. What happened to us doing it with our bare hands? What happened to doing things the old fashioned way? I tell everybody when when these type of conversations come up and when I'm at retail stores, technology is only as good as the people who made it. We cannot get perfect technology. We cannot get a piece of technology to do everything and recognize every little voice command we have. Or we cannot get technology to recognize every little thing because technology is only as good as the brain or the brains behind it. Do you think a human being can hear exactly what you say from 15 meters away or 15 feet away if you say it in a tone like this? No, they cannot. So what makes us think that technology is going to be that much better than a human brain or the human ear when a human brain and human ear create a piece of technology that you're making, that, that you're using in your household? I think that we're relying far too much on apps, far too much on technology far too much on these products that make us look like we're 50 years into the future when we're not. It's 2021, yes. Should we have further along technology or should we be farther along society? Yes. At the same time, if we can't get our country right with legislation, it's a whole different subject, but if we can't get simple things right like how to take care of America and how to take care of the world, what makes me think we're going to get technology right? Yes, it's two different things, but it's all in the same boat because the same people who are trying to help us get the country right are most likely the same people who are invested in those companies who are giving us some technology. Think about it. The same people who are trusting to legislate our country are the same people who likely have their hands in the pots of the technologies that we use to run our lives. Think about it. We don't. We need to... In my opinion, we need to get back to the old-fashioned ways, a little bit more of going about our daily lives, turning the shower on on our own, making coffee by pushing the button that says start, turning on our playlist with our hands. Boop! It's nothing, it's not that hard. It's nothing wrong with technology. There's a limit to it. When we start using technology to control our moves, that's when it's a problem. This is not Star Trek. This is not... Back to the Future, this is not Star Wars. There's nothing wrong with doing things manually. I love you guys. Appreciate you guys for listening. Let me into your lives right now. Let me know what you think about this video. It's been a long time, it's a long time since I did a video because I've been thinking about all these different topics in my head. Love you guys. What do you think about technology and how it's controlling our lives? I think we need to do things in your fashion way a little bit more because we cannot rely on other people's brains to help us run our lives. Love you guys.